fucking Wait, what she said? I'm fucking dead. Yeah, it is. She's like, like I'm blasted from here. Don't, don't talk to me. Blast. She's like, I'm tied right here to here. Yeah. Um, I got this I in the hate, tent. I hate these. Because I just wish the artist was different. Take care. Yeah, I wish this was small. I'm just getting these removed. She had that Drake vibe going. I'm going to get these removed. I did. First of all. Let's go on. These, I love these. They're really clean. So that one's clean as fuck. That one's so nice. Yeah. And then I have this one. That's Give me a favorite. Vegas vibe right here. Yeah. Oh, Twist her arm yeah. 25 is my birthday thing. 25 She's is my birthday thing. Me too. When's your birthday? Uh, October 25th. Aw. Shut the fuck up. October 25th? You're lying. I swear to God. You're a liar. You're a liar. I swear yeah, to God. No, no, no. You're a liar. I swear to God. You're a you want to check my ID real quick? Yeah. <laughs> Hold this shit. Come on, let's check it. Hold, Hold this shit. Oh, shit. He's like, I'm going to pop my IDs unless they come. We're obviously not going to film the fucking IDs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> film the IDs. Film the IDs. Film the IDs. Film the IDs. You want two free social security numbers? They're right here. Hey, y'all need that credit card. Y'all need that credit, and <laughs> that's another oh, one. My page is good. <laughs> what the fuck? Scorpio's what the fuck? All fucking day. For real. I swear you don't give a fuck. You. It is. You don't have a lot of money like that. <laughs> <laughs>
like, and then I was doing burials in two Fuck, weeks. I still can't do a kickflip, like, and I lasted two <laughs> weeks doing that shit. It wasn't working out. Yeah, like it, it, it was it happened really fast. So I was like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna like show, I don't know, my progress. Showcase your talent. Yeah, so then I was posting it on Twitter. I at that time I've never been into Instagram, and then TikTok wasn't a thing at the time. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, I would just go crazy on there, and then I probably reached like forty k on Twitter. Jesus. And then my account got suspended. Why'd you get it suspended? Forever. It's so gone forever. Oh, like permanently banned. Yeah. That bad? Yeah, I didn't fucking do anything. They didn't. Can I they. Cons- no, you're uh, very, uh, I'm just fucking oh. <laughs> Come on, man, okay. it does. It does. I, 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 I. I was like, because every other word for me is a cuss word, so and that's No, it's, yeah, it's normal. Um, Don't worry about it. Yeah, so, um, oh, because uh, my video, my, my video's the music behind it. Uh, Copyrighted. Because all I would post is, like, um, skate videos, so there would just be a lot of music behind it, obviously. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and then I didn't have my email. It was just all fucked up. <laughs> like, I didn't have my email set up to my with my Twitter. So they said they emailed me, but I was like, how'd you email me when I don't even have my email set up? Like, it was just, I was so that mad. That shit was still in the settings. Yeah, uh, like, confirm so your email. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, confirm, verify email. <laughs> verify email, email sent. Um, you got 24 hours. No, yeah, literally. And I was just like, I don't know. So from Twitter, you, you tra- transitioned into Instagram? From Twitter, after I lost my Twitter, I was going through it because I was like, this is like four years built of like. So what did you go through? I don't, not that I was like, I was just like, because like, I've always, like, I always like wanted to be like a public figure and I always like wanted to be like something to the public eye. So like the fact that I built all the way up to like 40K. It's, it's a lot. And then also on Twitter, like that's hard to yeah. do. And oh, like my engagement yeah. was crazy on Twitter. Like I would just post, hey, I would get like. 300 likes on and like or like i would just like like uh, like i look back because i could still see like my old twitter and i look back on like my media that i was posting and i would just like get like like four thousand to like seven seven thousand likes so did you go photo did you go through like a identity loss because you lost lost that profile that you built kind of i mean that sounds bad because like i don't want to be like oh my god social media is my life but like it's but it, it is it not. Is social media not life? Like, trying to become a public figure, right? Like, yeah. every, everybody's trying to, we're trying to figure it out, and everybody in the mothers is also trying to figure it out because it's it's something it's something about getting that recognition and people interacting with you that, you know, it feels good. I'm not going to lie. It feels really good. But you built all that. You lost it. And right. then you built your name on there. So when you lost it, did you feel that type of, like, like dude, like, what am I going to do? Yes, I did. You're right. I did feel like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? Um, I also, yeah, I mean, it's not the recognition that I want. I just really, like, I feel like, I don't know. I just want to share my, like, personality Your with life, people. Yeah. And, yeah, I want to share my life. And, like, I've always been open to, like, sharing it or whatever. Um, but. So, right now with your social media, do you get a lot of DMs, relationships, all that good stuff? Um, I mean, it's, I don't think it's good stuff, but <laughs> <laughs> I do get a lot of DMs, but, but I don't, I don't think you post anything about relationships or anything like that, right? Like on your platform, that's secret, Whatever. secretive. You got to tap into the Patreon to kind of find that out. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what, like right now you're, <laughs> I saw, I think your TikTok and IG has taken a, like a graphs that you're just literally your fits. Changing into your outfits of the day. Yeah. Um, yeah. So once I lost my Twitter, it took me a while to recover. I was like, what am I going to do? Yeah. Um, and then TikTok was a thing at the time. And I had grown a little bit. I was probably at like 100K on TikTok. And I was, but I was stuck. I was well, like, what? She says it like it's nothing. 100K. I don't, I don't think, know. Okay. <laughs> no, because I don't think that that's a Like, I actually don't think it's a lot for I TikTok. Think it, really? I don't think it's a lot. It's because no. you. <sighs> because okay, to me, this is how TikTok works. You'll see somebody on your for you page, whether you think they're attractive, whether you think it's a funny TikTok, and you're like, oh, let me follow them. Mm-hmm. Okay, but like majority of the time, you're on your for you page. You're not looking at who you're following. So the engagement on TikTok is garbage. 
So it's like I could have 100K followers, I could have 200K followers, but it doesn't mean my engagement is there. Because people are on their for you page. So did you grab the did you grab the algorithm of what it takes to build that type of resume on TikTok? I mean, I want to know. Everybody wants to know. No, I mean I haven't like cracked the code because I'm. Still what, what's struggling. your following right now on TikTok? I don't know, like two hundred something k, two something. Ooh. Once I started like doing the outfit my change? outfits videos. Um, oh, because I stopped skating. This is I stopped skating because I have a bad back. So that was out of scoliosis. The <laughs> no, I'm, yeah, damn near. Um, yeah, no, I just was getting hurt way too much. I'm like, I'm too old for this shit. Like, I'm too old to be getting Did, like. Do hurt people like know this. your age? Like, I mean, I'm open to it. Like, All right, what's your age? Go I'm ahead. 22. What the? No, fuck? I'm not like old. I'm not saying I'm old. I'm not saying I'm old. What? 22? Yeah, but I'm not saying I'm old. I'm saying I'm too young to be having these back pains. <laughs> but I'm too old to be skateboarding like a little ass kid. I got these back pains. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 26. I'm 26. I'm still, okay. I'm still right, young. I'm still young. I'm there. Yeah, yeah. My boy, Ike, 24. 24. Okay, yeah. She's 21. <laughs> what? You were looking at me like. No, we, it's because when you get to a certain age, we don't want to talk about the age no more. Yeah, yeah, that's how I felt. The other day, um, my mom was like, my mom forgot my age. And she, I was like, I'm 22. She was like, no, you're not. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, why are you going to fucking tell me my age? <laughs> so for the people that are tuning in, watching you, because I feel like everything that you post, I was going through your social, like, all right, what could I ask you? What could I ask? Like, you don't really post a lot of, uh, like, you only post, obviously, your fit change, going out with your friends, everything, but, like, for them to know your personal life, uh-huh. is that tough to put out there? Or is there a line that you draw, like, like with social media? Because social media, once they see something, they take it and they run with it, right? Right. Where'd you grow up from, if we can know this? Um, I grew up in Victorville, California. I don't know if you guys know where that oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Know, we know, we know, we yeah. know. So I grew up there up until I went to high school. Once I... Started high school, I li- we moved to Rancho Cucamonga. I don't know if you guys know where that is. I live in Fontana. I know. Okay, this. okay. okay. <laughs> Everybody doesn't like every every time I say Rancho Cucamonga, they're like Cuca what? And I'm like, nah, they okay. gotta rem- they gotta remember Friday day 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 day. They're the Rancho did, Cucamonga. Um, workaholics. Did you guys watch that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. They're in Rancho Cucum- or they're based in Rancho Cucamonga or whatever. But yeah, <clears throat> so then I did high school here, or high school in Rancho Cucamonga, and then I just recently um, moved here in January, L.A., um, with my friend. So what's the di- biggest difference now living in I L.A.? I think it's a big difference. I think I'm. it's more convenient to where, because we're really spontaneous to where, like, sorry, I burped. But, like, <laughs> we're really spontaneous to, like, what we do. Like, it's nothing's planned. I hate planning shit. Like, that's one thing about me. Like, So was it hard planning this? Yeah, it was. That's why I was, that's why I was late. <laughs> but She um, was on time. She was on time. <laughs> <laughs> we, we plan ahead. We're like, we're going to set this time. We we're planning this, ahead. like, two weeks ago, and I was still late. Sorry. But I, you, I think you finally read the DMs because I kind of messaged you, like, a while back. Yeah, kinda yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Um, <laughs> no, because I was talking to my friend, and I was like, okay, well, because we were going through my emails. Uh-huh. And then I think you had emailed me. I one, did. One I did you one time. We it's because when emails. it says email, I, I first try IG, uh-huh. and I try that. And then it says contact email, and I'm like, well, I guess I got to contact the email. I said, fuck, it's been a year. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I did I did go back, and I saw that. <laughs> yeah, so um, I, we were going through my emails, and I was like, I just want to, like, do more stuff. I, I need to respond to emails because I never respond to emails, So like I, which I should. But I never do, so I'm like, I need to just like do more stuff. Like the I want to be. The bag is in the emails, huh? The bag is in the emails. I know that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> like so I'm like, I want to be this like person, but yet I'm not like responding to emails. I'm not doing what I need to do to like further myself. Like, yeah. I think. But I is know. it just because like you're living in the moment? Like, you don't want that type of responsibility in a sense, like. You're living life, right? Mm-hmm. Like, let's, we're not lying. Like, you're living life. You look happy. You're doing your thing with your friends, everything. Mm-hmm. There, there's a responsibility when you get to that point where it's like, all right, I got to book things. I have events, but all this. Yeah, I, I 
guess, but I would love, I would, to, to be honest, I would love that responsibility. Like, I would love to be like, oh, I need to balance. wake up at 9 a.m. and I need to go to this meeting. I need to meet my manager. I need to, like, you know, I need to I have this. I have to film this. I have to do this for, you know, I would love that. Yeah. Um, because there are days where, like, I do have shoots and I do have, like, you know, I have stuff I need to do. And then it feels nice when I'm like, oh, my God, I've been shooting all day. And, I'm like, busy. I'm, like, yeah, I'm busy. And, like, I'm, like, oh, I'm tired. Like, I've been shooting all day. And, like, I have a reason to be tired. Um, not just tired because of life. Yeah, not just tired because <laughs> I'm, like, sleeping all day. But just, you know. I think, yeah, I think we all can understand, like, when you sleep When you're, like, busy, it's just, like, it's so, f- I think life is so fun when you're busy. Like, it's just, like, oh, my God, I have this. Like, it's, like, yeah, it sounds like a lot, but, like, it's just, like, oh, my God, I have this to do today. I have it's, like, stuff to look forward to, whether it's work or whether it's, like, nothing else. Because if you think about it, like, I've been without a job before to where it's, like, nothing, to where I'm, like, doing nothing all day. And it's garbage. So what do you do all day now? Um, <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Still nothing, just at a different level in, in L.A.? No, yeah. So, um... I mean, I do, so I, when I say, like, I've been out of a job before, so that's me right now. So, like, bef- but before, that's just recently. But I'm just trying to figure it out. But before, I would work for, um, I worked in Vernon um, for a small company that would do uh, merch for, like, smaller influencers. So, I'd, But I would work for ho- from home majority of the time. Um, so I still do kind of do work for him. Yeah. Um, it's like I'm an independent contractor from him. So I would do, like, graphic designs. Um, or I was basically his, his assistant, basically. Because sure. um, I worked, like, right below him. I would, like, respond to emails of, like, management. Yeah. Um, to where there were, like, big influencers, but not, like, your typical big ones, like, you know, not like David Dobrik or not anything crazy. Like you know, the like OGs of basically. Right, like it, it wasn't anything crazy. It was like yeah. Hannah Jaren, who's uh, um, like a health and mind, but she has like 2 million on TikTok or like, you know, like 300K. Like it was yeah. more so like that, like probably like 100K to like a million so followers. So like the, the current uh, influencers, but not the OG ones that have – Hundreds of millions and right, everything yeah. that. So it's like smaller influencers that are basically like not just as known. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? Because when you become a sort of influencer, a certain genre can know you about you, but the other one has no recollection of who the fuck you are. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like I'd be like, oh my God, this girl's so big or, you know, who, this person's so big. Yeah. But I, I'll tell you and you'll be like. Oh, who the fuck is this? Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, is it? I think we're I think it's crazy. Everybody's in a different realm, but there's there is those people that are just so big because they started so early that everybody gets to know them. Right. Everybody knows them. Everybody knows uh, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, right? Dana White. Right. Everybody knows David Dobrik. Every, like those type of people that started the Knock Boys that started mm-hmm. years ago. Right. Knock Boys, I got you. Happy Dads. They introduce happy dads. Yeah, this is. I don't know that boy like that. I just know they say, "Isn't there a thing full send?" Full send. Full send, brother. <laughs> We're gonna shotgun that outside. <laughs> right. What's the probably the craziest night that you've had being out? <laughs> 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 the craziest night. Craziest night. I want to know. Your followers want to know. The audience wants to know. Ooh. I don't even know. <laughs> I, like, not to say, like, oh, my God, like, not to sound like a fucking fucking cheesy-ass bitch, but, like, <laughs> there's too many. <laughs> <laughs> like, not to be like that, but to be like that. Like, you know, like. I mean, it's you. Yeah, You are who you are. This, this fucking pod- I think, like, your perception of me is so wrong. Ooh. I think it is. All right, how? Tell me. It's because, good. like, in the DMs, you're like, oh, you go out every night. But, like, I don't go out every night. No, what did but you... But that's how it looks. No, and... and I did agree, though, because I was like, that's my, like... In the DMs, in what what did you tell me? Oh, where are you at tomorrow? I was like, no, you're a week ahead. You're like, fuck it, let's do it tonight. I was like, I don't drink tonight. You're like, whack. Okay, yeah, because I be <laughs> drinking every day of the week. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, I get drunk on a Monday. I, I try to have Tuesdays a balance. Tuesdays are mine and my besties day. We get drunk and we go out. What's the favorite place to go out? 
Um, okay, so it started um, Tuesday nights. My friend has a friend, and um, he put together this event um, every Tuesday night at Harriet's. Um, so it's called Me and You. Not this free promo. <laughs> <laughs> but it come um, with the bag. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's called Me and You. Um, so we go there. Like, we would go there every Tuesday. But we stopped going out for, like, a good, like, three weeks. Yeah. I think that's so good. Like, literally didn't go out in three weeks. All right. So you said, I have the perception wrong. <clears throat> you go out. You post that you go out. You post your life. So what? who is Amanda outside of social media? That's so hard. No, nah, no. Nah, nah. It's because we need to that's clear like up the, the air. That's the question when people say, tell me about yourself. You're like, I don't know. You know? <laughs> So outside of outside of the things you post, what do you do? How do you do things? How do you feel? Wow, that's deep. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, I'm I'm clearing this up. This air you started this, so I'm I gonna just, clear this up. I'm just living life. <laughs> um, but I do. I do post that I go out a lot, and I think like. But do you think that's just like your social media that you built that? Like, that's what your audience just wants to see? I don't think that's necessarily what my audience wants to see because I think my audience wants more than that. But, like, I think, like, me personally, like, that's, like, like, I don't want to, sh- like, I don't know the stuff that I'm, like, hesitant to share or, like, I'm, yeah. like, oh, like, I don't want to let them know this much about me personally. So where is that? where is that fine line? What's that balance? I don't know. I don't mm. know. I think, like, once I started um, my podcast. What's it called? Um, Sour Rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so it's called Sour Rats. Um, once I started my podcast, I really wanted to be, like, more open yeah. um, with my life. And I wanted to share more of my life because I wanted to tell, like, my personal stories and, like, yeah. you know, just a lot more stuff that's personal, which I had never been on social media. Like, people... I'll just tweet, like, some, like, common things that other people would feel. Um, But never, like, what's going on, like, in my life, personally. Um, But once I started the podcast, I started being more open. And, um, yeah, (laughs) that's... So what's what's one of the toughest moments that Amanda personally has gone through? Whoa, we're going there. Um... Uh, that's some deep shit. Hell yeah. Um, take take it this way because the podcast. I mean, we've growing. We've been at this shit for a year and a half, and yeah, people have grasped like grabbed onto it because like we'll get DMs, emails, and just comments when we're going live. Like, yo, whatever this person said has helped me through what I've been through. So maybe what you went through is similar to what somebody else is going through, and. Again, you don't post this because it it's just your fine line, but maybe whatever you went through from being from Victorville to Rancho to now, you went through something that maybe we don't know that maybe it's going to help somebody else because I feel like a lot of people look up to you. They f- like they look at you, they see your life, they see your smile. <laughs> smile impeccable. Colgate total, DM real <laughs> quick. <laughs> DM really quick, but... That's my dream. But... They look at you and they're just like, yo, like one day I want to be as happy as her. But in rea- I feel like in reality, we're not just 24-7 happy. Right. Yeah. That's not- so what's like a tough time that you had to co- overcome? Um. Okay. I've never. Oh, my God. I don't think I've ever told a story before. I'm ready. Oh, we're ready. Fuck. I'm giving y'all the real tea. <laughs> um, Sipped. Um. Okay, so recently on TikTok, when I started my podcast, I came out as bi, okay, and um, I, like, so I came out like that because I was, like, okay, like, I, that was my struggles with, like, that was my hardest, I don't know, trial in life that I went through, Um, so my parents found out when, like, I was in high school, or, like, I, my, my freshman year, um, and then I was in trouble for three years, <laughs> but I was like in jail for three years. Like they didn't want to let you go out. They didn't let me do anything. I didn't have a phone till I was a senior in high school. Yeah. And I just had moved from Victorville to Rancho. 
and I had no phone and I had no friends and I was like fuck like how am I like my parents were so big on like oh my god like you just need to forget about this you need to like this is a like this is not you this is a stage you need to forget about this um s- like forget about it forget about it but like i had a, i had nothing for 3 years like how do you expect me to like make friends when i'm like going through like i was literally so depressed in high school i was like like i literally like not to get deep or whatever but like i literally would have like i wouldn't be here if like it wasn't for like i made a promise to my aunt cuz like so like my family would like okay so my parents were a different story like they were just like no 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 like treated yeah. Treat me like shit. I have a good relationship with my parents now. But, like, back then. They Oblivious just, to the idea. Yeah, they treated me like shit. Um, and then, but, like, my aunt and, like, my cousins, they, like, supported me. And they wanted me to know that, like, I was loved and, like, they were here for me. So, like, they would sneak around to see me because my parents didn't want anybody who supported me in my life. So, like, oh, for shit. somebody to tell me, like, oh, it's okay, like, you know, like, it's okay, like, you know, whatever, like, to, to let me know that, like, they were, like, no, like, they ripped that out of my life, so yeah. they took me away from my family, which I grew up with my aunt and my cousins, took me away from that, and then my cousins would have to, like, sneak around to see me, and, like, we would have to lie and be, like, oh, like, I'm doing this, and then they w- I would go, and then my family would surprise me at, like, fucking shakies or something, <laughs> Um, like a whole ass fucking thing to just see my family. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So then I, I made a promise to my aunt that like I would never do anything to like hurt myself. So that's like literally my aunt like saved my life. Like yeah. Um, can every we time can I we clap it up for like doing that promise? Huh? Can we clap it up? Okay. Sure. All right, let's clap it up. Come on, <laughs> come on. Be because. I mean, not just because the month that we're in right now in June, Pride. right? <laughs> I'm really that like, yo, like this is where this is just so perfect at the perfect time because what you had to go through, I right, like tons of people had to go through it million. and worse for sure. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah, I was just kind of just stuck. And so, how do you feel right now? Like. Now, you're confident in your own shoes? Right now, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> right now, I really don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck. So what's, the re- what's, the, what's a quote or something you could tell for those people that are trying to find their identity? Or being comfortable in the shoes where it, I think not giving a fuck is an identity. Right. We're just talking. I'm like, yo, like, I'm at that stage where if you don't give a fuck about my feelings, I don't give a fuck about yours. Right. It is what it is. Yeah. Love me, hate me, whatever it is. I think in is. reality, people don't care about... Like, I think we're so stuck on, like, what people think about us. And I think in reality, it's, like, everybody, like, like people don't pay attention to you that much. Like, the people that you think are, like, oh, my God, they're going to, like, judge me. Oh, my God, I'm going to get this. Like, no. Like, stop caring about that because I promise you they're not noticing that about yeah. you. Like, I don't know. I think, I think, I, I think also, too, like, the advice I have to, like, people that are going through anything that's like emotionally like kind of fucked um i think learning to be alone is very important it's like very important because i was alone for fucking three years i had nobody i would fucking sneak out at night to use a payphone to call my fucking aunt to just talk to somebody and i think like like I don't know, just being alone for so long, just realizing, like, because for a long time, I blamed myself, because I was, like, you know, I was so young, I was 14, 15, and I'm, like, fuck, like, if my, if my parents don't, like, love me and accept me, then, like, who will? Like, I kind of felt like that, in a way, for so long, for probably, like, like, a year and a half, I felt like that, um, and then once I, once I kind of, okay, so this is my turning point. <gasps> oh, shoot. Say Sarah Routes one more time. Sarah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, I'm insecure. No. <laughs> nah, your energy, your energy is just unmatched. This is crazy. It's, we don't wear headphones on um, saw. Sarah Routes. <laughs> when, when you brought that page out, I was like, hit the follow, followed it, and I was like, okay, okay. I'm blown. I need to take these off because I'm just going to, like, overthink myself. <laughs> uh, no, when I bought my podcast stuff, I um, I got headphones, too, but 
they're just not like video pleasing for me. <laughs> so like, <laughs> so yeah. I couldn't do it. So you were you were saying about okay. what was I saying? <laughs> someone remind um, us. Someone remind us. Um, 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 you were alone for three years. Okay. You yes. had to use a pay phone to. Um. Okay. Being alone. Being alone. Being alone. Okay. The quote. Um. Oh. Okay. What was my turning point? Um. In my life, which. I don't know. I think, I don't know. Let me just knock it. Okay. What was my turning point in my life was, um, I obviously, like I said, like I blamed myself for like so many years. Cause I was like, fuck, like if I could not feel this way, then I wouldn't, yeah. you know, if I could have a be- the best relationship with my mom and the best relationship with my parent, like both my parents, like I would, you know, like it's not like, I don't, I don't know. Like I didn't want to like feel that way. Like if I yeah. could, so now is there isn't it is there an acceptance with your parents? Um, or is we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Okay, <laughs> so like this goes back to like me in high school. Yeah. Um, I um, what was my turning point to where I stopped blaming myself was so my parents sent me to a therapist to like fix me. Okay, they're like ah, oh, you need to fix you, whatever. Went to my therapist and I just told her like I would just tell her like um. I would just tell her, like, my, like, what I was going through emotionally and um, how I was feeling. Just literally just all emotions, strictly emotions, right? Yeah. And then I go one day and she tells me, like, okay, um, I'm going to make a CPS report on your mom. And I'm like, fuck. And she was like, for emotional abuse. Because I was fucked up. Like, I was fucked up. Like, one time I was depressed, like, I was depressed. Like, I was going through it. Like, yeah. I would be told, like, the most, like, crucial shit ever. Um, and, um, yeah, so once she said that, I was like, fuck, this isn't me. Like, I'm literally, like, I'm literally going through it, and it's not <laughs> my fault. Like, yeah, yeah, know, no, like, definitely. Um, so that was my turning point where I was like, I don't give a fuck, like, fuck y'all for real, <laughs> like, fuck y'all. So that was my turning point where I was like, uh-uh, like, this is not, this is not cutting it, like, you're not going to treat me like this, I'm not going to yeah. accept that you treat me like this, um, yeah, and then I was just like, I kind of, like, just told my parents, like, once I'm 18, like, I'm out, bro, like, no, yeah. um, and then I would, like, they would treat me like shit, and then I would, I would run away, and I would go to my aunt's house, and then I would stay there, whatever. Um, but, yeah. And then once I once I kind of, like, once I, like, stood up for myself, and um, they knew that, like, I wasn't putting up with it anymore, because for the longest I would put up with it, and I would, you know, I was underage. I yeah. hadn't, you know, it was, like, keep my life civil or... A lot of chaos. I think for so a lot of us shit. listening, a lot of us that listen in or talking, and the ones that are tuning in, if you haven't subscribed, um, when we're young, we go through a lot of chaos that we let it get to us to a point where, when we look back at it, when we look back at it now, we're just like, bro, yeah, I could have handled it a little differently for myself, for my own sanity. Mm-hmm. Everything now is fuck it. It is what it is. People yeah. feel how they feel, but the way I gotta handle it, the way I gotta handle life and look at life, it's all up to me. Yeah. If I want to hate life, I'm going to hate it. But right. if I want to love my life, I'm going to love it. I think it's a little harder when you're underage and you're under. I'm your... leaving. Where are you going? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm yeah, leaving. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. That was me, bro. Like, I would fucking <laughs> leave all the time. I would just yeah. be like, fuck this. Like, I would get in a fight with my mom or whatever. And I'd be like, you know, fuck this. Like, and yeah. I would just, whether it's me just going for a walk. But, like, my parents weren't putting up with that. And my dad would literally, like, drive up and, like, and like come and get me, like, on the side of the road. Like, you know, because my, my relationship with my mother was completely different than my relationship with my dad. Um, but, like, obviously, like, like, I was blamed for a lot of stuff. I was blamed for, like, ruining their marriage. I was blamed for just my dad's health like I was blamed for like a lot of stuff because I added so much stress to their life or I was putting them through so much and um so like my relationship my mom is the one that did that not to put you on blast mom but so like um and then like my dad was like kind of like I would he was more trying to keep it together yes and he was like kind of like I will say like my dad's like so easy to talk to like not that I tell him everything but like if he sat down and talked to me and like I 
like I could open up to him and and yeah. um I could tell him everything if I wanted to and he so right now your fine. your friend group what does your circle look like the people you trust that you depend on um my circle is honestly not that big I have like one friend um <laughs> that's good that's okay that high five was terrible okay <laughs> um yeah I have like or like two friends I would say um like I I have more friends but I would just say they're like surface level friends and then I have my friends from high school but. Like, you know, we're all just living separate lives. But yeah. if we decided, hey, let's have brunch on Sunday or, or yeah. hey, let's go out or, like, hey, let's hang out, like, we would catch up and on each other's lives. Like, it was no problem. But those aren't, like, my everyday friends. Um, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know we, 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 it's cause <laughs> we It's because here we ask the real questions that, you know, maybe you didn't ha- haven't had time to really think about and go back because you're going, you're living life. It is like sometimes it is hard to look back and actually give yourself the flowers. Like you overcame a lot of shit. Mm-hmm. You stayed alive and now you're here living life. Right. So at one point you do got to give yourself that pat on the back and the flowers. Like I did the damn thing. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, like it, it, life is fucking tough. No matter what, no matter but what yeah. way you fucking look at it. But okay. This is what I always say. Life will be shitty either fucking way like life is shitty like it's shitty (laughs) it's shitty but like it's just the way that um it's the way somebody handles situations in life is is how it's the way you handle a situation is how life is like fuck i could be going through the worst shit ever like i was so fucking depressed and i was like going through shit like bad shit but like at school to like other people like I was the fucking class clown. Like, you know, like, I, like it's like, it, and like, yeah, like, I, ha- I had those nights that were like, oh my God, like, this is so long, I'm fucking going through it. And like, whatever, it's hard to like put a mask on, but I think it's important to also put a mask on because that, like, I don't know, that will, I think it's your attitude. It's like, you wake up one you wake up one day, you're like, oh, my God, my life sucks. My life sucks. You keep reminding yourself throughout the day, oh, my God, I hate my life. Like, I'm so sad. I hate my life. You're going to continue to be sad. You're, you're feeding gonna, yourself that. Your day is just fucked at that point. Yeah. But it's like if you get up and you're like, damn, like, I'm in a good mood. Or not even just lie to yourself. I'm in a good mood. I'm in this. Like, you're going to force yourself to, like, yeah. kind of be more, like, like those pleasant to be around, to have a better day. You yeah. know, like, you're going to force yourself to, like, have those things. Um, but I think if you keep reminding yourself how shitty your life is, you're just going to, it's just going to stay shitty. Like you're not. Yeah. It's, little, <laughs> it's funny because yeah. right be, like before we got here and everything, plus at TikTok and it was just that like, yo, life is what you make it. No matter if it, if you want it to be shitty, it's going to be shitty. If you want to be in love, you're going to be in love. But if you want to put out a bright right. energy out to the world, you're going to get the same shit back. Like. Yeah. I'd, maybe you don't believe it now because, oh, my God, everything, this is bad, bad. Like, bro, just stop fucking complaining. Mm-hmm. Do something about it. Right. If your friends are shitty, they're shitty. Right. <laughs> change friend groups. Right. If your job is shitty, change. Yes, it's change. easier said than done. But, like, these trials of the steps that you need to take, like, you know, what, you know like you said, if your friends are shitty, get a different friend group. Yeah, it's going to be hard, you know, detaching Back. or whatever. But, like, that's shit you need to go through. You know, if you need to be alone for fucking however long, whether it's a month or a year, like, yeah. you need to be alone, you need to go through it. Like, you know, that's what you need to do. Yeah. So, I switch, shifting gears, yeah. switching gears, your love language, what is it? <laughs> um, my love language is quality time. And I think that goes for, like, even a relationship and a friendship. Um, just anybody I have in my life that's, like, close to me. Um it's like quality time. Quality time. Yeah. Time is valuable. Yeah, I just um I don't know. <laughs> I just like like getting to like I just like knowing somebody on like another level. Yeah. Rather than just going out and like partying or just oh like I don't know, you I think in life you definitely have your party friends. You have your friends that are like, Oh, like when I go out, I'm gonna invite them. Like Come on, baddies, let's go. You know, let's go out. But, like, are those the friends that I'm going to call on a fucking Tuesday to go with me to the mall and run errands? Like, no. You know, like, and I think, like, the people I have in my life are the people that I, like, 
would run errands with and then yeah. I would do every little thing with. Um, yeah. And I think like that's that's uh, like the most important to me. So you believe in love? <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I believe in love. <laughs> She's like, "No, um, I don't know." I I wish I was like a hopeless romantic, but definitely not. I think it's normal. You think there's an issue right now in the day and age and the time we're in in relationships? Like to keep one, to make one real, to not play games. Um yes and no. I don't know. I haven't came across like somebody that's So right like, now if someone comes at you, I want a relationship with you, you're just like bam. <laughs> I don't think arm. that's the right approach for me. Like the it's like it's like I don't think that's the right approach for me. It's like it's like kinda like I wanna like see like if oh, we, we like vibe on a different yeah. like if we're like friends if I can be friends with you. Like if I can't be friends with you, I can't date you. You know, yeah. like I think that's important. And I think I don't know. Like I think <laughs> I don't know. I I do believe in love. I think love is so real. Um, but I so also like I wanna believe in the hopeless romantic thing like so bad. So do you wanna like, you wanna be in love? I wanna be in love. Um I love love. I love love. I love being in love. Um, I'm like a relationship person. I know I don't talk about like relationships a lot, but like the last relationship I was in was like for like two and a half years. Um, I never like put that out, whatever. People like didn't know about it. Um, but yeah, like I'm just such a relationship person. This is like honestly like the longest like I've been single. And, like, I don't like it. <laughs> like, I don't fuck with it. I just want to um, fucking cuddle when I get home. <laughs> I want to, hey, like, hey, are I'm you home? I'm not for the streets. I'm not for the streets. <laughs> I'm not for it. Hey, are you um, home? Are you okay? <laughs> Good morning. No, fuck. Good just, night. Yeah, but I just think, um, I don't know. What the fuck? I don't even know what the <laughs> fuck I was saying. <laughs> it's truly really getting to me right now. <laughs> this is this is our breakfast, but if you're listening to this in the morning, then make sure you eat breakfast before you drink. Make sure you do, because this is I had a shot and a truly for breakfast. It's dude, I was trying to live up to your sour rats podcast. You know, I'm trying to that's what I thought. Like when you guys were like, oh, like it was like shot or whatever, I was like, fuck, I really shouldn't, but like I'm gonna do it to live up to like sour rats. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it. So, so is I that coming it. back? Um, yes, it is. Um, I think it's hard, um, working with, um, like two people on a podcast, um, having guests is different, but like having your co-host, you know, yeah. like having a co-host, I think it's hard because, you know, sometimes like I'm in a bad mood, you know, or sometimes like he's in a bad mood and it's like, and it's, and it's hard to like catch the same vibe of like, you know, like we need to do this. My boy Dylan got here late. Hey, Dylan. <laughs> Dylan, this is Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> My boy Dylan was hustling right now, so we good. We good. Um, sure. Yeah, it, it it is tough. It is tough holding holding a podcast. And for the people listening in that have asked, how do you continue? I'm like, bro, it's consistency and how bad it's you want to do it. It's hard. Like, it's like, I feel like we're in that rut right now. It's been four months. You know, like, yeah. and haven't filmed, and I just, I want, I want to, but I kind of want that same. It's hard to be on the same page. Yeah. You know? Sometimes, it, like, you know, sometimes there's time where he's like, "Oh my god, like, let's do this. Like, we need to film. We need to do this every week." And for a long time, we were on the same page, and we we're like every week. I would live at ranch. I would living at ranch all the time, and I would drive all the way down to LA after a long day of work because at the time I used to work for a UPS, so like. After fucking a long ass day at work, I would drive and I would be down here till like three a.m. Yeah, just to film, dude. That and was just to like kind of edit and then post the next day. I I literally I'm not gonna lie to you. When we started this podcast, we lived in West Covina, and we would record. Like if back then you went to the podcast, you would come to to the apartment eleven thirty, twelve a.m. Mm -hmm. We would be done till like three in the morning. And right now it's, believe it or not, right now it's a little balanced. Because before we would have the drinks right there in the back. You want a shot? Boom, take a shot. We would end up fucked up. <laughs> next, at the next day, 11, 12, 12 p.m., the episode is out. Right. And yeah. that's, like, one thing for the people that did go to those podcasts and that were part of it. 
like, bro, we would end up tore up. Like, <laughs> shout out to uh, Gordo and John. They ended up in, for some reason, the West Covina, Jack, uh, Carl Jr. that was there, there, it was like backwards because you order your food, but the whole restaurant is on the right side. Oh, okay. So it's on the passenger side. Yeah. So what did these guys decide to do at fucking three in the morning? <laughs> they went reverse. <laughs> Stupid. They went reverse. So they literally fucking ordered backwards <laughs> and just backed it all the way up, got the yeah. food. And I was like, bro, this is like three in the morning. Everybody's <laughs> fucked up. And you're like fucking dumb, but genius at the same time. <laughs> he, oh, he's a genius. He's for some way, way or another, they're geniuses. But like we from there, we went to Fontana and Fontana was different. It actually was a part of the Fontana one. And until we came here to LA, I was like, all right, there has to be some sort of balance. There has to right. be some sort of structure. schedule. Structure. Because yeah. we usually record on Sundays, which originally we did on Sundays. And then we're like, nah, like, just, let's just move it to a Saturday. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah, we're here. We're here now. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, we would record on um, Tuesday. Or no, Mondays. We would post on Tuesdays. Um, so we would like, basically our goal was like, okay, like we have a bonding day on Monday to where we're like, we hang out all day. And I mean, I live with him, but like, sometimes it's like, okay to like not have, you know, not be with each other every day. But Mondays we'd like go to like Malibu, whatever, like have like a day to ourselves or like with me and him. Yeah. And then at night record and then, um, like post on Tuesday. That's how, that's how it was when I look like now that I'm living with him, but when it was back home. I would go to work all week, and then um, I would come on t on Monday nights. I would come after work. I would we start at nine, and some for some reason there was always something wrong with like the <laughs> technology. So <laughs> and then I always had to fix it because I was the one. You know, I'm the one doing the edits. I'm the one. You know, yeah. uh, like with the mics. I'm the one like you know dealing with everything. So uh, there was always something going on, and then I would end up getting home at like 4 a.m. having work at like 8 a.m. the next morning like you know it was like it was a lot are you sleep deprived <laughs> not now i don't <laughs> think i think if anything i sleep too much i think um i think getting a perfect balance is so important like five to like once i sleep past eight hours i'm fucked once i sleep past eight hours i am like so tired so what what's a uh, speed round right here what's one thing that your fans your following doesn't know about you something interesting <laughs> i don't know i'm not that i'm not that interesting you think so no i'm not I'm not that interesting is it because you're you don't like you don't like to one brag to put thing, a lot of things out like that and like kind of like oh i do this or i'm like this type type of stuff big headed basically I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so what you said earlier, the misconception, what is one thing that you feel people misconcept about you? Um, I would say it's about anything or anyone, though. Like, it's like not everybody's life is like all fucking sunshine and rainbows. Like, like yeah. you see me like, yeah, I'm going out. Yeah. Like I'm having fun with my friends and like, yeah, I may seem happy, but like, like behind all of that shit that I post, like I choose what I post, you know, like, but it's like, like, I'm not going to fucking post, cut my life into pieces. This <laughs> is my last you resort. Know, like, I'm not going to fucking post Dude. that shit. Like, I'm not going to post that. But, like, in my head, I'm like. Cute oh. song. Like, I'm like, fuck, you know? Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think that's very important <laughs> for people. Like, yeah. you know, just because you see somebody, you're like, oh, my God, they're living my dream life. And, you know, they're living life. Like, I want that. I want that so bad. But, like. So what's a good thing? And what's one good thing about Hollywood and one bad thing about Hollywood? The lifestyle. I think it's very, like, you could get in, a, in such a routine of, like, doing the same thing over again. But, like, I'm big on, like, like I sometimes I catch myself, like, living the same days over and over again. Um, but also, like, I feel like it's so, like, important to just change it up. Like, recently, like, the other day, I went to a new smoothie place. Like, I, like and I, I'm like, What'd you oh, order? my God. Um, it was called, like, old school like something i don't know it was like strawberry banana and like apple juice and like like greek yogurt it's like very it's very like healthy place um but yeah i was like oh my god this feels so good to like find a new place and like find a new routine you know yeah 
um i mean getting i think that's like the bad thing about the lifestyle is like everybody's so True. such in a routine of like oh i'm gonna go to my coffee shop and i'm gonna do this or i'm gonna go to you know this place i get this cafe i go to lunch or two every day you know like yeah. um and i think it's kind of like, yeah it's nice to have a routine but also at the same time it's it's healthy to like change it up yeah um, oh definitely it's yeah. if you're in the same routine you do get tired of it yeah i mean yeah. it's like <laughs> Yeah. Oh. We're literally just talking about that because next week we go out to San Diego for one of podcasts and then Dylan's birthday. So we go to San Diego from nice. Friday to Sunday. Yeah. And that's what I was telling us like, yo, we are podcasting one first and foremost, but like, it's yo, I just, I just need like, to breathe. Yeah. It's a change I've, of like scenery, change of a dynamic. Like tequila on the beach. Right, we're chilling. Yeah. Like you have the view of the beach and everything. I don't know where the fuck y'all staying, but you know. Shit. Just whatever. end up. If if you got free time, just end up in the uh, downtown. Where they? I'll go. I've always wanted to party in San Diego. I never like like we're I've n- gone there with family. We're but not like we're I've not never... gonna party. We're just gonna socialize. We're gonna call it socialize. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> when, when, okay, that's nice. We're, we're, we 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 gonna be in Gaslam though. We're gonna stay in Gaslam. Make it okay. easy, accessible. Yeah, I've never like I've only gone there with my family. Um, but I love San Diego. It's like literally so pretty there. Um, the, Dylan is the one that wants to party in San Diego for some uh, odd reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because he turned twenty one during COVID times and he didn't really party. I did so. too. Yeah, I want to go to Vegas though. Shit. I've had those before. We I can make Vegas. LA of Vegas, right? Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we need breakfast. We need breakfast. Yeah, I need to eat. <laughs> so what hit us with what? Our podcast has gone through and done really good. There's people live by quotes. Is there a quote you live by every day in your life? Something you remember when you're like, ah, shit, shit's not too good right now. Uh, Life's a bitch and then it goes know. on. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Life's a bitch like, and then it I goes don't know. on. Um, to be honest, I don't have a quote that like, I live by. Um, I do love poetry, though. Love poetry. Kid us with the... With the Okay, my favorite poet, like, okay. <laughs> I die, I die, I die. There Everybody it is. Everybody go listen to this. There it is, there it is. Hell yeah. Okay, That's but, like, it's not a quote. But it's, um. But but read it, you know, to get the audience, you know, to it, feel it's it. It's too long. Like, I feel like everybody needs to just go to their fucking Spotify, <laughs> Apple Music, and, and listen to this shit and feel your own feelings. You know, like, I'm not going to give you a quote right now because that's not, like, genuine. But, like, I mean, it's genuine, but, like, it's not, like, you know. Um, <gasps> sorry. Give me a second. <laughs> Stay tuned. If, you have, if you're waiting right now, make sure you go subscribe. <laughs> you follow. Uh, yeah, go subscribe. Um, self. Oh, my gosh. I literally just found it the other day. But if you're needing one, life's a bitch, but it goes on. <laughs> Her. So keep going. <laughs> Stop complaining. Okay, it's Don't. called Another Letter to Remind Myself Who I Am oh. um, by Miles Carter. Um, it's like poetry, and it's very, like, I would say to listen to it by yourself because if you listen to it with somebody, they're going to be like, what the fuck you listening to? <laughs> you can be like, it's just self-reflection, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I think everybody's, like, embarrassed to, like, whether it's a song or whether, you know, you're embarrassed to kind of what you listen to. Hell and yeah. I think like it's an it's important to listen to like I think it's important to listen to poetry by yourself. It's because it's deeper. You can feel you things. A, you have a judge. set of lines of poems that, that you. I don't like. I'm not into like poetry like you that. You just listen to, to it. Like, yeah, yeah. I just like to listen it. Listen to it. I feel like it's like really like I feel like it's just food for your, like your soul. Like just to be reminded that like other people feel like this and like I don't know. It's like. It's, like, kind of advice in a way to me. Like, you know, when you go to a friend, you're like, oh, my God, like, I'm in this situation. Like, what do I do? Um, I think poetry is. Perfect. Yeah. It's like, it's like you're going to a friend. That That's like, your way to kind of connect with your, be in yeah, tune like, with yourself. If I ever post a fucking poetry shit on my Some shit going story, on. <laughs> I'm fucking going through it. Some also, if I ever on. post the fray, I'm fucking. <laughs> Somebody check on me. Somebody check on me, please. So, Somebody swipe up and ask me if I'm okay. So if we're being honest, 
I know this podcast was a little different than we're used to in your own podcast. Yeah, it's a little deep for me. I'm over here talking about my podcast. We over here talking about life and our sex life and our funniest sex stories. Like we just talk about that shit. But this is a little deep for me right now. I mean, can we save the the deep talk <laughs> of that for the Patreon? Because, <laughs> but uh, that's what I was telling them. I was like, we started the Patreon. We're about, we're about to launch it. But for people to hear those stories, the what Patreon? What the fuck is that? Basically, an OnlyFans, but for social media. Oh, so if I want to hear your personal stories. And I really want to know, I got to pay for it. Oh, shit. Okay. I keep cheersing with this mic. Um, but, you know, you that's cool. can't make it accessible to a lot of people. Because a lot of people just nosy. They just want to know what you're doing, what's right. your downfall, yeah. what you fell in. Yeah, my podcast is more like for fun. Like, it's funny. I don't know. But I'm not going. really serious. Nah, definitely, definitely. Like what you post, I mean, you keep it to what your resume is. I could is. be serious, but like also, like I think the like, like who I want to be is not. Like, I just want to be funny because I am pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Just kidding. I won't be funny. I'm all, nobody reaction. I'm like, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> not funny. Nah, definitely. It, <laughs> no. You're you got to be authentically yourself, no matter what the repercussions are, if people like you or not. <laughs> Yeah, but, like, uh, there are times where I'll be serious or whatever. I have a serious chat. But, like. For how long? Not that long. But, like, I will. Ten minutes, <laughs> Ten minutes max? Ten minutes, yeah. But, like, I can sit down. Like, I don't know. The way I cope with shit is, like, la- is laughing yeah. at shit. Like, I think life's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny. If you take something out of this podcast for mental health, make sure you fucking th- laugh at it. I your- think that's my quote of the podcast is, life's funny. <laughs> and just laugh. Like, fuck. Like, nothing's ever that serious. Dylan, can you pour an herradura, please? A little bit. Cause we're all gonna. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take a toast. I know we're almost. We're almost at the time right now. Sure, I'll take one too. No, absolutely the fuck not. Give me a little. The barely even. As soon as it touches, <laughs> stop it. Little, yes. As soon as it touches, <laughs> as as it touches the stop bottom, it. Stop. <laughs> Who? You. <laughs> no. Fuck no, we're getting breakfast. I'm gonna hang out with y'all all day. Oh, definitely. We're yeah. we're still gonna go do photo shoots over there. Okay, I'll go with y'all. Come on, we need we need content to post. Definitely. <laughs> come on, come on. All right, bam. Oh, Dylan you. made it. Dylan made he, it. He really lived up. To he it. really did. He really did. So we are going to. <laughs> oh, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tune in, Amanda. Thank you so much for coming all this way, this way <laughs> to come and podcast. <laughs> it's like twenty minutes away. <laughs> but a toast. Thank you. Tune in. Let's go. Me. Sour rat. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah.